टूडे इन फिजिक्स इलेक्ट्रोमेटिक इंडक्शन ऑफ सी वन न्यूमेरिकल न्यूमेरिकल इज बेस्ड ऑन मैग्नेटिक डेंसिटी द न्यूमेरिकल इज लाइक दिस वे जस्ट यू कैन सी हियर ऑप्टेन द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द मैग्नेटिक एनर्जी स्टोर इन टर्म्स ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बी एरिया ए एंड लेंथ एल ऑफ द सॉलिनेट हाउ डज द मैग्नेटिक एनर्जी कंपेयर विद द लोटोस्टैटिक energy stored in capacitor now we know that suppose uh, this is a solenoid on length l in area a current in this solenoid is suppose i and uh, The, now the magnetic field produced in this solenoid is given by solenoid is given by V is equal to V zero and I. Therefore, I is equal to V upon V zero into N equal to one. Similarly, the self inductance that is L is equal to V zero N square A into L. This is equation number three. Now the energy stored in this solenoid is given by the energy stored in this solenoid is given by that is a U V is equal to one half L I square. Now keeping the value of I and L in this equation, we get U V is equal to one half L that is a mu zero n square A L into I square is B upon V zero into n whole square. Now simplifying, we will get here U V is equal to one half this mu mu zero n square A L into B square divided by mu uh, zero square into n square. This n square and square will be cancel. One mu mu will be cancel. So finally, we can get here that is a Uh, U V is equal to one half into B square upon mu zero into A L. Equation number four. Now the magnetic density is given by that is magnetic density rho V is equal to U V upon volume is equal to one half. B square A L upon mu zero into volume V. Keeping the value here, that is one half B square A L upon mu zero into A L. So A L L will cancel. So finally, we get here one half into mu zero into B square. So the magnetic density is given by that is a. So B is equal to one upon two mu zero into B square. Now comparing with the electrostatic, that is the energy density in a capacitor is given that rho E is equal to one half epsilon zero E square. So both that we can say that both that magnetic and electrostatic and electrostatic density is directly proportional to the Square of their fields, magnetic field or electric field. So, uh, this way to understand this uh, numerical. In this numerical solenoid having length L, number of turns is that is n, and uh, cross section area A, and the current in this solenoid is uh, I. We know that due to the current, the magnetic field magnetic field produced in the solenoid. B is equal to B zero and I the current is equal to B upon B zero into small n. We have small n is equal to capital N upon uh, capital L. Now similarly the self uh, inductance is produced. Here self inductance is produced by that is L is equal to B zero n square into A capital A into capital L. Now we know that the energy stored in this cell N is given by that is U B is equal to One half L into I square, keeping the value of L and I and simplifying it, we get here that is U V is equal to one half into 
b square into a l upon uh, mu zero. Now, uh, if uh, this energy stored in this solar net is divided by the volume that it will get the magnetic density rho b is equal to u v upon v, keeping the value and finally solving this will get here one half uh, into v square upon mu zero. Comparing this, this is a magnetic density. And similarly, comparing this uh, electrostatic density in capacitor, that is uh, rho e is equal to one half to zero e square. Both the equation uh, shows that the, their density is directly proportional to the square of their intensity magnetic field intensity or electrostatic or electric field intensity. So this will to understand this. Thank you.